Use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. Go easy. We don't want to add frostbite to his list of complaints. I'm on it. This area saw fierce fighting only recently. Let's keep searching. There might be other survivors. The silver lining is that, based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters... We've never seen this kind of light. Too late to repent. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Reach the end of the story in your own way. <clears throat> Miss Tingyun, fall back! They're Mara struck. We've already lost them. meaningless. The 
The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <laughs> Struck have been repelled, but but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission immediately. Calm down. I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. My name is Ting Yun. I'm the Amicassador for the Law Fu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? Illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown, since none of you are Sienjo residents. May I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. Uh, we called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Hmm. You're with the Astral Express. You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun, to help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. <laughs> Your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Well, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. Come on now, I'll lead the way. Those monsters back there. They were no monsters. Oh, those were not to be confused with monsters, benefactors. We call them Mara Struck. to ask, that's all. Favor? Count me out. What if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? I shouldn't have doubted you. Please accept my apologies. Our road ahead is barricaded. Do you see? 
soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Even with all of us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Not that I'm doubting your skill, but I'd feel terrible if you hurt yourself in the process. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the Trove of Verdure can be moved around using a control panel. You've already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Should be simple, right? <laughs> I knew it! This will be a breeze for you. We just need to pass through here, take the barge to Starskiff Haven, and we'll be safe. You know, you sound sweet enough, but you were... I have no interest in here. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Looks good. You mentioned the Stellaron. You work for the Skyfaring Commission, so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. Yes, I am. As an Amicassador, I've been to many planets and seen my fair share of Stellaron corrosion. Fighting is meaningless. This sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Interesting.
Reach the end of the story in your own way. meaningless. I'm on The guard. truth of life and death reveals the sanctuary is but a vision. Fighting is meaningless. You can still surrender! Ah! I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death with the sanctuary is but a vision! Lance at the ready. I'm on 
lost on the way. Oh, my beautiful tail. We had a difficult start, but things got easier. Look, that's the barge I was talking about. know their way around the star skiff. Oh, I was perfectly calm until she volunteered to help. Please take your seats, everyone. We'll be off right away. The Skyfaring Commission allow me to welcome you to Star Skiff Haven. On the Sienjo Lofu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lofu. As the biggest port on the ship, Star Skiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. You definitely sound like a. Oh, uh, what was it again? Oh, Amy Cassiter. By which I mean, nice speech. That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally, I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first, and report your arrival to Madame Yukon. Palace of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry, we haven't got much time. I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. Sounds scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Very well. <laughs> Look 
little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. I can't keep up with her. I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. Not so fast. I need to give you two a heads up first. Our meeting with Madame Yukon won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. She is a top Sienjo leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again? No, the Sienjo Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to Estelleron? Who leaked their information to us? Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Ah, oh, crud. One of us is gonna blurt something out or get something wrong, I just know it. What if she thinks we're with the Stellaron Hunters? Never mind the Alliance. Even I don't trust them. Mm, she's right. If we're too scripted, it'll sound like we're hiding something. <sighs> don't worry. We'll find a way through. Let me do the talking. <laughs> <laughs> 